<laughs> Good morning, Fuller Cup. Hi, how is everybody? How was your holidays? Um, good morning to those on Heather Ruth Whole Connections and good morning to those watching on my personal profile. I thank you for being here. I thank you for touching base today, live or on the replay or whenever you see this. Oh my goodness, it has been, like we're in the last week of 2020. It's been an insane year for some and um, a, a year just filled with so many different experiences um, as a general collective. And we're here just talking about gratitude and it's 64 days of gratitude, which leads gonna lead us into the remainder of this week and into the beginning of January. Why? Because it's so important for our souls to really understand how to feel grateful for what we're experiencing in this current time. Instead of always trying to reach for something in the external or ahead of us in the future that we haven't even seen, to just be grateful in the moment is a super important expression of the love that you have for yourself. And this is really, really important, especially going into the 2021 year, is how much love can you have for you? Where can you have a little bit more acceptance or a little bit more resilience for yourself? How, where can you have a little bit more fierceness or assertiveness for, for what you're going into? And so the last four, four days or so that I have been present fully with my family, the kind of gratitudes that I was writing about in both my Instagram and I've shared in my business page. Um, one was, you know, grateful for social media. And this year has really shown me because I'm not, I don't love being on social media all the time. Truth bomb. I don't love it. My little guy's waving to you guys in the background. <laughs> and my, I'm, whoop, sorry, Jeff. <laughs> my husband's putting on his shirt and getting dressed. This is life. This is how we roll here in the Ruth family household. Um, so a little bit of why am I, why can I, I had to learn how to be grateful for social media. I have, um, had to understand what its purpose was for me and what its role was within our own society. And so I'm grateful because of this year, in a year when we haven't been able to gather in person and we haven't really been able to travel to far places or whatever, social media has allowed us to feel that connection with people all over the world, to start following different people, to learn from and um, develop different connections and relationships, whether you've met them in person or not. Social media is a tool for that, to bridge in that connection when you can't connect in, in personal life. So I am grateful for it. Whether I choose to spend my time on it or live in stories or live on it, that's my choice. I believe that we can build businesses in so many different ways and that we don't have to be in the social media land fully 100% on every single platform. I've never felt that desire. And I've, and it was definitely been something that was an, an obstacle for me to understand that I only want to show up when I want to show up. And that's okay because we don't have to be and give you or the world every aspect of our life right? Uh, we don't have to share every single moment. And the more I lean into that, the more that feels right. Because you get to see me. This is me. I'm showing up as me in my whole 100% self of who I am. This is who I am. And when I show up, I give you all of it. And so the other parts of my gratitudes were grateful for presence, grateful for space and time. The idea of what space and time is this year really changed for me. Some days I don't know if it's a Monday, a Tuesday, a Wednesday. It doesn't really matter because I just do what I want to do and I feel into that. I manage my days by energy. Time is that man constraint to tell us that we need to get up at seven in the morning and we need to go to bed at 10 o'clock at night, whatever that might be. Find your rhythm, right? Find your time, find whatever it is, but do it for you and not for the sake of anything else. 
right? Embrace that. So I'm super grateful that I've been able to look at what does space and time mean for me this year? What does it mean for me to connect in space and time to understand that? Then there's the presence and then there's the pause. And there's a reason these are all coming up right around this time. There's a reason that these gratitudes for me to express with you are coming up at this point. Presence. This is the time to have been present with your family, to have been present with yourself, to allow the pause to be that slow time to reconnect to what truly matters for you. How do you fill yourself with joy? Do you need external things to fill that void? Not necessarily. Has the pause been big enough? Has it been short enough? Was it significant for you? These aren't ideas to be scared of. These are ideas and things to be grateful for, to embrace more of. This will help you expand your life experiences for you. It doesn't matter what you experience and how it affects someone else. It matters how you feel for yourself. And in that moment when you can embrace that, you can get over the obstacles. You can go around the mountains or the jetties or the junctions. You can see the truth through the fog. But you have to practice these things. You have to become them and envelop them into your full being. How does one become whole? Well, it's all of these things that I've been talking about for the last 64 days is really looking at the things that make you who you are. I am truly grateful for all of these things. These are not things that I have just made up. I sat down and I listened to them. And then my partner who I co-created this with, my, my graphic designer, she then fell into it as she was designing the graphics and setting the dates. There was no grand plan. There was literally her and I working in a symbiotic way, in a co-creation way, to create this to fall out when they needed to be said. How wonderful is that? How beautiful is that moment when you can just simply say, I did this for me, and that feels great. I did this for me and my family, and that feels great. It is who and how you connect with yourself that matters. Because when you are fully in with you, when you are fully in love with who you are, when you are fully in love with the vibration and frequency that you are sending out to the world, it comes back like a hug. And it's a warm blanket that reminds you that you are a spirit in this body. We are not being transported somewhere else. We are not getting a new planet tomorrow. We are on this experience today. And it's how we live in it. It's how we experience it that is going to change the rest of it. You have choice. It's pretty simple. You have choice in how you want to feel. You have choice in how you want to express yourself. You have choice in how to be grateful. All of this is for your soul, is for your being, is for the betterment of the collective when you can truly connect to who you are. It's the one, it's the wholeness, it's the oneness, it's all of the things I've been talking about for four or five years and maybe some have listened and maybe some haven't and that's okay because I know it in my own self that the work that I've done for me has rippled into the work for my family, has rippled into the extended connections in which I have in life. These are the magic moments. So yeah, I talked about all of that, how I had to work to be grateful for social media. That's been a couple year journey for me because this has never been a space that I felt safe. I had to create that safety First, by loving me, and then I can show up as I am. Quirky, goofy, can't say things, mixes up phrases, um, uses her hands all the time, is totally vibrant. Those are who I am, and I accept that wholeheartedly because it's how I want to show up. So I hope that you had a very present time. <laughs> hear the pun, with your family over the holidays. I hope that you had a very present time with yourself. 
And I hope that you have connected fully and truly and are starting to see the light in the journey of reconnecting to ourselves and the journey of recommitting to that focus of loving ourselves to the next degree and what those ripple effects will do in your world when you embrace it wholeheartedly. Okay, so I send you so much love. I see you. I see the work that you are doing in the world. I see the work that you are doing for yourself. I believe in you and I send so much love your way. So much love. And I look forward to the 2021 conversations that we will have in January, but I will see you maybe tomorrow. And if I'm not seeing you in the morning, I'll be seeing you in the afternoon because I plan on being present with my family while they're still off for another week. Will we go skiing in the mountains and experience life that lights us up to our core? So I love you guys. Thank you. Mm. Sending it all up.